Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat Life back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about crypto market GMT earnings. People are starting to post the GMT earnings for Steppen because 24 hours ago, Steppen have now activated GMT. So we're going to have a look at some of those screenshots, and they're pretty wild. Miami three Web three conference is coming in November. There's an explosion in Ghana for cryptocurrency adoption. We're going to talk our favorite YouTube shillers, Bitboy. Crypto and now Lark Davis is in the news for shilling shit coins and profit profiting from his audience. That BitBoy Crypto, he's kind of like taking a leaf out of BitBoy Crypto's book. So let's roll that intro and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. So when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. So as we can see here, Bitcoin is for uh, 19.4, which is fine. Uh, this is the time to accumulate, guys, right? This is the time to accumulate. Everything is cheap. When you go and want to buy a pair of sneakers online or you want to look for that purse or you need something for the kitchen and you go online, you go on Amazon, you go on your favorite apps, what do you do? What's the first thing you do? You look for the item and then you look for the cheapest price. So why would you not do that in crypto? Hello, crypto right now is down and you make your money buying, not selling. But most people think you make your money selling. No, you make your money when you buy it. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, all these are going cheap. They're red hot. Why would you not buy it? BNB, all these layer ones, Solana, everything is going cheap. Polygon is 77 cents, Avalanche, 17 cents avalanche hit 150 dollars all-time high why would you not want to buy some even good old litecoin 53 dollars all-time high 350 dollars i mean it's just an absolute smorgasbord of cheap tokens right now now obviously you want to stick to the layer ones okay hint hint so that is um, a time to accumulate right now go and buy yourself some crypto if you don't know what to do, don't look at my videos because I don't offer financial advice. You need to do your own research and just watching YouTubers and then following what they do will lead to a recipe for disaster, which I will talk about later with Lark Davis. Steppen. Steppen GMT earning is enabled and surprisingly it hasn't really dropped a lot. Uh, you know, it was 73 cents. Okay, it went down to 69 cents, but it's still 64 cents. So it's not like it's dropped massively now. Okay, so 64 cents for Solana, which is pretty good. I mean, see, it's, re it's remained fairly steady. So that tells me a couple of things. It tells me that it's um, a lot of people are still on um, GST. So they, they haven't upgraded their shoes or this whole time they should have been cashing out. See, if they level their shoe up to level 30, then they will be able to earn GMT. Whereas G, uh, they're, they're earning GST. I mean, GST on Slana is two cents. So what would you rather earn? Two cents or 64 cents for every, every token that you earn when you walk or run? Makes no sense. So, you know, People should be scrambling to upgrade. So let's go and have a look at uh, some of the earnings. So these now uh, have come. People have started to walk, run, or jog, or whatever they're doing. And they've got their level 30 shoe sneaker here. This person has got a level 30 walker. They earn 27.92, so at the current price, times 64. That's a pretty good chunk chunk of change compared to you know what they were earning before which was uh, 0 0.02. So they've gone from earning, you know, $1 or $2 to now earning 20 to $25 um, because of this uh, GMT has been enabled. So that's massive, you know. Then look at this other one here. Uh, Whale Walker earned 64.72. That is a lot. Now look at the energy is 20, so they've got a few shoes. Another one here, they ran 11.2 kilometers and they earned 72.92 GMT so that's that's massive and another one here they earned a hundred GMT for a two kilometer jog 
4,666 steps. Now that is amazing. That is very good. So there, that that would be about $64. Yeah, and that's only eight energy as well. The reason why being is because their shoe is very is a high, high shoe. This shoe is a rare, a rare like a rare shoe. Okay, so um, this is this is amazing uh, compared to again you know compared to like you know two cents uh, that we were earning before with uh, GST. Now it's activated. You know we can make some really good money once again back in the old days you know when when Steppen was uh first came out you could earn this sort of money right well those days are kind of back it's not the best but still hey you know 64 bucks from this times 30 you know you're looking 1800 1900 for the month which is not too shabby considering the way that everything is going right now the, the bear market and even with asic miners i mean you're not going to get uh uh, an ASIC miner making $64 a day. Oh, well, you can, uh, but the KA3 is not even out yet. The uh, Kadena miner is not even out yet. So that's pretty good money. Ghana sets to catch up with Nigeria, Kenya in terms of crypto adoption, says chain analysis. Paxil CEO Ray Yusuf said the current growth trends in Ghana show the potential of, to be leader in cryptocurrency adoption. As emerging markets lead into crypto adoption, Ghana is a country located in West Africa to soon catch up with African countries regarding cryptocurrency, a report says by Chain Analysis. Why would I talk about you know countries in Africa? Because countries in Africa, emerging markets, and this is where a lot of people, Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, these people, they can't get a bank account, but they can get a mobile phone, they can get a crypto wallet, and then they can start you know engaging with DeFi and even with crypto currency themselves for p2p p2b exchange they can create a business they can start to get involved in crypto so this uh, mass adoption is going to spread in countries like africa and the biggest adoption uh, crypto adoption right now in the world it's not america it's southeast asia okay in vietnam thailand indonesia philippines is another one so all these emerging markets then you've got africa this is all spreading crypto and they're getting into things like bitcoin ethereum solana okay nfts DeFi. so this is all going to help and that's why a lot of a lot more work has to be done in countries like this to help them grow uh, and and spread cryptocurrency because we want mass adoption that's what we want miami web3 conference okay so it's well known that miami is trying to become the bitcoin capital for crypto in america and they had the bitcoin uh conference recently in miami now they've got this web 3 which is going to be in november 50 speakers 2000 plus decision makers and leading uh, experts uh and they're trying to really push this narrative of web 3 DeFi, and crypto in the city of miami offering uh benefits uh for people to come and build their businesses and move to a miami being more crypto friendly state so this is going to be good for uh, crypto. I think apparently they're even paying their uh, employees, government employees can accept in, um, their, their pay in Bitcoin, um, something something to that, to that effect anyway. So yeah, if you're in Miami, I don't know, maybe check it out. Um, take these conferences with a grain of salt. Um, obviously listen to well-known speakers and rep have good reputation with a lot of these uh, companies but when you've got uh, speakers that just shill stuff that that that's what you want to sort of kind of like just take those people with a grain of salt uh speaking of taking people with a grain of salt bitboy crypto obviously you know he's he's got a very big channel so i'm not against this guy in the sense that he put a lot of work in to build his channel i remember his channel was very small in the last bear market 2018 and he was only uh like 40,000 subscribers built his channel up um, in the last bear market. Okay, so he's been around for four to five years uh, and now he's got 1.43 million um, subscribers. So I do respect uh, Bitboy Crypto for the work he's put in. It's just some of the stuff that he said uh, has got him into hot water and this has been well documented with shilling his shit coins. So he's not the only person that is now in hot water. There has been another YouTuber, which is Lark Davis. And this guy's got really bad taste in shirts, but I'm not going to hold that against him. He, basically what he's been accused of recently, you know, kind of writing on this whole theme of Bitboy Crypto. He is basically been alleged, allegedly, he's been involved in uh, pump and dumps. So he's talked to uh, Cointelegraph 
and he's basically denied it. Um, here's an article on uh, Crypto News, and he's basically said that Davis was responding to a, a Twitter thread uh, posted by Zach on the 29th containing allegations that he is profiting over $1.2 million through selling tokens from crypto projects, which was allegedly paid to promote without disclosing. The 17-part thread by Zach pointed eight examples of what Davis crypto wallet receiving tokens from new crypto projects with Davis subsequently tweeting or posting a video on them, then selling the token. So let's just go and have a look at those uh, that tweet. So this is here, Zach XBT, and he's basically got a series of tweets. And he talks about um, the selling off of these coins. And here's the funny thing about it, right? Lark, Lark Davis, he's using old wallets, which were found very easily on his um, uh, old videos. So that's him there, right? Obviously, he's reinvented himself. And he's using these old wallets, which he had in the description of his old videos. Right? And he's using those old ERC-20 wallets. And that's how he was caught out. He must be the stupidest son of a So here's an example of UMB on the February the 9th, 2021. He basically had uh, 22.5 million UMB at launch. So then he, he's like, he posts it on uh, Twitter and then here afterwards, um, after his tweet, a few hours later, Lark dumps all his 62.5k UMB for over 136,000 USD. So we're talking, a, you know, big money here. Okay. So then that's one example. Here's another example here um, where he promoted this uh, SOP. Then there's another one here, uh, which he promoted DAOs, um, and he dumped and made over 56,000. And this is all on chain too. You can verify the addresses. Shop X is another one. He received 120,000 Shop X, and then after that he quickly dumped for 435,000. And then there's another one, BLES. He received 14,000 BLES, whatever that is. And then over the next hour, first of all, he tweets it, right? And then over the next hour, he dumps over a hundred and uh, two to pocket over 103,000 USD just hours later. And then there's another one, Pimon, um, which is a play to earn game. Um, wow, I remember this game because I got involved in this game. I actually played the game as an, you know, uh, as a player. Uh, he received 10,000 PMON. Over the next few hours, he dumps all his PMON for, holy cow, 313,000 USD. Obviously, that game's failed and not around anymore. And here's another one, uh, BMI. Never heard of it. Um, and he tweets it here, BMI, and then he dumps it here for... Uh, 42,000 USD. So he, this guy here, um, basically he's denying the allegations and he said this to uh, Cointelegram. I mean, this guy, is he is he stupid or what? I mean, um, he knows that everything is on the blockchain. It's all uh, public knowledge. You can just look up the address and you can see exactly how many tr the transactions and what, what he transacted with. And... Um, uh, now his thing is like, oh well, that's my, you know, he's not that wallet address. How can they prove, you know, that it was him? That's just a wallet address that he used, right? You know, what I mean, like he, out of all the people, he's a crypto influencer. He knows exactly how blockchain works, and now he's trying to deny the very thing that he um, has been talking and endorsing on his channel for years. He's got four hundred eighty-five. That's that's like the dumbest thing you can ever do. Um, so yeah. I, Crypto Lark, um, t t this is what I'm saying about influencers, right? Don't don't just follow these guys, especially the big guys, and just like they're pumping these coins. So what is, think about it. What is everyone watching the video doing? They're doing the same thing. He talks about a coin. They all go and buy it. Like you've got to really think rationally on what is happening here, okay? So um, don't follow these guys. I mean, if you watch them, watch them. That's great, but... Don't just follow them blindly. You got to do your own research and really kind of think 
uh, what is going on here because they're using the influence to profit from your back and um, you come in and buy the coin right <laughs> you pump it you give you provide liquidity while they're exiting they're dumping on you uh, and trust me the, these people they don't care they just um, they don't care about their audience okay so this guy has been found out crypto La, he's been found out big time so props to um, this is all on chain too cannot be denied and this is by Zach XB. Good for him. Um, so uh, awesome work. Awesome work. Calling out these shady YouTube influence. Hi right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Obviously, leave your comments <laughs> and leave your hate comments if you want. It's all good. If you comment, it's going to help the algorithm of my channel. So feel free. Leave your hate comments. I'll still respond to them and give you some love. Subscribe and share if you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.